Hey guys, we're back. This is Max from Lazy Users, and we're going to continue our Depona Let's Play. In this episode, we are number 63, and we're going to go see the mayor. Hopefully, he'll ask for our autograph. Bye, Lottie. We'll see you later. Oh. Low tech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Low tech? Low tech. Low tech? <laughs> what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa, are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's George Stanza? resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind too. That's for us. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? <laughs> Wait, is there... Yes. What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. Hey, that's a lie! Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better be. And completely on purpose, too. Oh, yeah. Not accident. You'll be surprised, Low Tech. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. Okay, let's see. I came here for the Elysium girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But I saved her life. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe, considering you're responsible for ninety percent of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but I hope that's an actual statistic right there. Have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. No, no, it was Wenzel. I swear, it was Wenzel. With your attitude. You wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. Uh. Well, bad luck. Dad, how exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting running. to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? <laughs> I really need to go to the assembly hall. You, you bet. bet. Oh, now what? I can't stop thinking about what you said. That my father oh. manipulated the planet's magnetic field. Well, get over it. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, Me neither. it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> The only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing <laughs> my window. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> you don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, Details. Don't worry about the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Oh, if only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. That's mean. Okay, I see, like, they keep insulting Rufus for not doing work, but he put so much work into his experiments, I actually think he does do, a lot, like, the most work out of anyone in the game so far. Like, they're always trashing him, but he's actually doing work. When does the post office open? 
Whenever I feel like it. I am the mayor, you know. What a stupid rule. That was your father's idea. Uh, stupid, but not bad. Not not bad at all. Uh, the, the girl belongs to me. me. Wrong. I've already made the decision. Okay. Starting to run out of good arguments. Going through an endless loop here. Let's meet this. There is a god. Are we done here? Uh, that's no. all. That's it. Well, then just beat it. I need to get to the assembly hall. What? Can I lock him in there? Hmm. I kind of know this symbol. Uh, where's the lock pick? Wait. Yes! What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I get for it if I melt it down. Uh, nothing. I don't know if Fraps actually picks up, but I just got a Steam alert. I forgot to log out. Clever enough to find it. I do apologize if you saw it. Okay, is there anything else I want to... Ooh, bell. Oh, okay. This opens it up. Globe. Oh, sweet. Wait, what do I need the water for? Oh, the glass. Oh, for... Oh, the acid, I think. S-O... L-O-N-G... So long! Y-O-U... F... U-C-K... <laughs> Damn, where was I? That'd be a pain to write with, actually. Okay, there's the drawer here. Let's close it up. Okay. Oh, communicator. Let me try that. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? Uh, anything I need to take apart here? A key of the booze cabinet. Where's the booze cabinet? Oh, wow, I am so stupid. Sorry, you just heard my chair. Gotta adjust, I've been sitting here way too long. His legacy. His liquor cabinet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take booze to where? Like. Booze plus tranquilizers. Chemical experiments later. What I need now are predictable results. I must have found clear water, obviously. Oh wait, that's clear water. Oh, damn. Okay, then I need another. Uh, I need somewhere to put the car battery acid. Right. That's all I need right now. Oh yeah, the energy rich acid, okay. Uh, we're gonna back here. Let's see, anything else in here? Let me just do this really quick. Water and we'll do do do. Okay, nothing else we need here. Wait, okay, communicator. Next, please. I was wondering if I could tell them. Oh hey, do this for me, please. Really? I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... <laughs> and then, uh, I think it's gonna be put in the funnel. There it is. Hmm. The funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. Yes! <laughs> Indeed. Dotty, here I come for you. Dotty, erase yourself. He's gonna walk go over and shoot at her. So she'll get a farewell present. What? No, I wanna. Okay. I said. The post office will be. I need to use it though. Hmm. Oh, we're all here now. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, 
Oh, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. So let Rufus do it. The appropriate screwdriver. So I have it. Uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to That's wake up Wenzel. first. Okay, okay, I see. Wenzel, you this creepy fuck. She needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll Those are the best plans. Come on, guys. I warn you, I'm the girl. Uh, let's see. Hey, go, go. Wakey, wakey. Go. Very good diagnosis, Doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. He's got his PhD in it. Okay, a uh, blowpipe. Ah, ah, but Rufus! <laughs> My bad. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> blowtorch ah, him. Ah, but Rufus! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Oh, man. We can start a fire. We can light the tree on fire. Wait. I think I tried this earlier. Might as well we're out here. I'll bet Fire Officer Gizmo would like that. I'll keep that idea in mind. Okay, we have the blowtorch. We haven't really done it for anything. There's the tree in Gizmo's office. We can try to light a fire. I don't know if that actually do anything. Because we want to go to the post office. Come on. Wait until the sign. So. The post office. Oh, clock. What? Oh, there's something new. Oh, uh, we have numbers. This doesn't have to be yet. But it. Wait, do we have two of them still? No, we don't. Where does the other one go? Um. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, nothing to do here. In oh, whoops! There's something I missed. I have. Oh, okay. Let's see. Is there anything in Tony's house? Tony's shop. I mean, let's see. The vouchers. I said hands. Yeah, but you all take your feet off the table. Don't let wild predators loose in the apartment. Send medicine to Grandma. But I can't do everything at once. <laughs> and look. You don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. And give me the vouchers. Hands off. Yeah, but you always say stuff. Take your feet off the... How weird did that? Steak, take a... Oh. Here you go. Can I offer you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not going to fall for that. Not again. Oh. I am dumb. We have this bad That's boy. A great idea and a sufficiently safe distance. Stay. That's a safe. Oh, wait. That window's open. Out here, we take a step. Rufus, you are an asshole. What the? A dart? A little longer. And. <laughs> what am I mad at oh, anyway? right. As soon as Rufus right. comes back in, she'll still get mad. Calling it. Come on, Rufus, my good sir. Okay, hey, Tony, take these vouchers. Grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? <laughs> oh, and while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. 
Just a moment. What? <laughs> Weather balloons? No, no, no. I said vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? Keep your hands off. I counted them. No. Yeah. Bye. Let's go. Uh, bowl. This is where Tony's budgie but he died after. Wait. Okay. Uh, can we put anything on pole over here? Nope. Okay. To infinity. And beyond. Fast travel here. Okay, come on, we have vouchers. Can we use them now? She advanced me in line, so she. She advanced. Oh, wait, farewell present. Okay. Balloons! No. Tranquilizers. No, oh, God. Uh. Let's see, let's see. Every girl loves a hand torch. Or the flower. No. Okay, we'll forget this on this, but thank you for watching. This is Max from the, uh, the Lazy Users, and I'm signing out. Have a good day. Good day, everybody.